the alt car novices chase is next up then this is a two and a half mile grade two novices chase the top one is paul galloping for darren thompson downtown man jim murray jason x ryan tamasevi serious choice dan hughes back out old david robertson ice jim greg beckwith jardine's look at graham clutterbuck and the assassin joshua sutherland eight then this time rain still tumbling down and called in and away they go get their way towards the first with Paul Gallup in the first one to show being driven along to claim the lead nothing seems all that keen to challenge him for it and the horse pulling for its head jockey's happy to let it go at this stage and it leads by about three lengths the rest of them virtually all in a line as they race down towards the first of the 15 and they're all over it safely with Paul Gallup in the clear leader, Jason X is just about showing in second. On this near side, Ice Jim as they get over the second, that is a ditch. And there's a four at the back there, back out hold is gone. So back out hold didn't last long in the race this week and is out. But Paul Gallopin is Gallopin. And the water's not quite making pools on the ground yet, but it's not going to do that before too much longer. If we don't watch it because the rain seems to be everywhere today and Paul Gallopin is clear by about five or six lengths to Jason X in second as they get two to third and over that one the mistake this time was by Ice Jim who's now back in fifth they're getting pretty well strong out this Paul Gallopin is setting a serious pace as they come to this ditch and they're all safely over that one including the loose horse back out hole at the back so Paul Gallopin it is then from Jason X in second the assassin on the outside is third then in fourth place is downtown man with Jardine's lookout in fifth iced gem and serious choice just out of shot They're all safely over the fifth as well and making their way down towards the next which is the sixth of course and that'll be in front of the stand you can see the assembled throng of race guys over on the far side as they get over fence number six with Paul Gunn up in the clear leader still Holding along five or six lengths clear of the assassin in second as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit to go. You can see the whole field there and Paul Gallup and it is in the lead. Three in a line then, that's the assassin, downtown man and Jason X. And then after that, two in a line, Ice Gem and Jardine's lookout with a serious choice. The one at the back who is not in shot at all. Paul Gallup in. Not had anything within three or four lengths of him throughout the race so far. It looks like downtown man might be thinking about making a forward move as they all get over fence number seven. Um, Gallopin's lead is now down to a little more than a length and a half with downtown man second on his inside is Jason X and his outside is the assassin as they get to number eight. And there we see the whole field over it and you can see that the back marker serious choice is no more than eight lengths off the lead so plenty close enough with still a mile to go and Plenty of jumping still to do, but Paul Gallopin's lead is down to a neck now, and it's the Assassin that's come through the challenge, and the Assassin who jumped that one better and has gone on. Mistake at the back by a serious choice might have just given that one something to think about, but it's the Assassin who's half a length up from Paul Gallopin second. The leading six now beginning to bunch with serious choice just a little bit detached as they come to fence number 10, which they all get over. So you can just see the shadow of a serious choice in the background. No more than about seven or eight lengths behind as they take that ditch. And it's Paul Gunnupin on the inside, the assassin on the outside. Then Jason X and Downtown Man within between them. Ice Gem and then just at the back, Jardine's look at as they make their way then towards home now then they've got a little less than five furlongs to go and the assassin on the outside of Paul Gallopin. Paul Gallopin might just about come out of this turn in front but the assassin appears to be going the better of the two at the moment. This is the 12th and over that one they go. The assassin landed just in the lead from Paul Gallopin in third. Three more fences to take then now it's a wide open race and the one coming around the outside is Jardine's look out but it's up Paul Gallopin on the assassin over this final ditch and over it they go. The assassin has gone on now then by about a length through Jardine's look out who's gone second and Paul Gallopin still there in third. Jason X has found nothing under pressure today. Ice Jim and Downtown Man likewise, but they're coming down towards the second last now. And at the second last, the Assassin lands in the lead. Gets away from it nicely. He's three or four lengths clear. Suddenly, Jardine's lookout's gone out like a light. Downtown Man trying to run on the outside. Paul Gallopin getting back into it in second. Ice Jim starting to run on as well, but coming down towards the final fence. It looks like the leader's only got to jump. It pops over it and gets away from it. Well, and this is going to be another one for Joshua Sutherland. He's going to take this one pretty comfortably by a good five, six lengths. Racing up towards the line. It's the Assassin 
who takes the old gun. Obviously, it's Joseph Sassin, the winner there, and second. Then Jason X and Ice Gem, then Paul Gallup and Jardine's look out. And serious choice, the last one to finish with the loose horse back at home, following round at the back. It's another one on the board for Joshua Sullivan, throwing down a big challenge to take the title this season. And the assassin takes it for Joshua Sullivan. Then downtown man second for Jim Murray. Jason X for Ryan Tamasevi was third. Ice Gem for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And long time leader Paul Gallopin was fifth for Darren Thompson.